Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is be specific and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of 2 Kings chapter 4 and verse 2a. And Elisha said unto her, what shall I do for you? Tell me, what hast thou in the house? Meditation on the scripture of Elisha and the widow. This portion where we t- took our anchor scripture from struck me. Elisha said to the woman, what shall I do for you? Many times in the gospel, we see Jesus repeating this same question. What would you have me do for you? Jesus was and still is God. He knew what every single one of the people he healed needed. Yet he still asked them what they wanted from him. Jesus wanted them to be specific. That I may rec- receive my sight. That I may walk again. That my child may leave. That my servant may be healed. Jesus elicited specific answers from the people who sought his help. Jesus is the same today as he was when he walked the earth. He wants you to be specific. He wants you to have measurable aspirations. He wants you to tell him what exactly you want. Not because he doesn't know, but because your faith is only released comprehensively when your aspirations are measurable. Heal me, O Lord, is a good prayer. But, O Lord, in your mercy, please restore my sight is a more specific and direct prayer that allows you release your faith in the direction of your prayers. Many times, after the people had told Jesus what they wanted, he went on to ask them if they believed he could do what they asked. That is, if they had faith. You need to know what you actually want before you can release your faith in that direction. Reduce the amount of vague prayers you pray. Come to God this morning with specific requests. He is asking you, what shall I do for you today? May God help us all. Let- Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your word today. Give us grace to pray right. Take all the glory, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed, please drop me a line on audio devotional at yahoo.com. That is audio devotional, one word, at yahoo.com. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.